Hi, my name is Brian and uh, this is another installment of my video on how to make a steel aquarium stand. And today's video installment is a little bit exciting because I'm finally getting the stand into where the aquarium goes. Um, the aquarium is actually going to go here. This uh, piece of wood will be in on one side of the aquarium and it's actually at, at a 42 inch height. Um, that'll be the finish height. And then the aquarium is back here. It's on um, some stands and it's protected from the dust and debris. And so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to move the pieces in here and set up for the next welding. I had intended to do some welding today, but I forgot my jumpsuit at home. Um, every time I wear my coveralls or my jumpsuit, I take it home and I wash it to get all the dirt, sweat, and nastiness out of it. And I forgot to bring it with me. And you know, I guess it's a little funny to call it home because this is our home. Um, but we're living in an apartment. Um, and the reason we're living in an apartment is because the house is just a little on the rough side. And uh, yeah, there's better ways to live. So, what I'm going to do is go ahead and set up for this and. Um, There is a, a top and a bottom to this. All right, so the bottom is facing this direction. This probably weighs a couple hundred pounds at this point. Be right back, I'm gonna go get some stuff from outside, their material that goes to this. Okay, so at this point I've brought the legs in, and this is one of the six legs. They'll uh, sit on here like this, and they're actually gonna be offset from the ends a little bit. Um, and it'll just make it easier to do this, and let's see if maybe this end is straight. So once these are all positioned, they'll be welded one at a time, trying to keep them as vertical as possible. And then I will flip the stand over and I'll place these underneath each of the legs. And these will be welded on. And the purpose of these plates is they have holes drilled in them. And you can buy these prefabricated. I think these were $5 a piece. They're, I want to say eight inches by eight inches. Yep, that looks about right. 8 inch by 8 inch, quarter inch thick steel plate with uh, half inch holes pre-drilled in the four corners. And I'll use these to anchor the aquarium down just to give it that extra bit of stability, make sure it's connected to the foundation. Uh, my primary concern there is I would never want something to happen where somebody or something bumps the aquarium and knocks it over. And that's a real risk when you raise an aquarium up. And that's part of the reason I'm doing a steel aquarium stand is for the stability and the rigidity and the fact that I can very easily anchor steel to the foundation, whereas wood would be a little bit difficult and there would always be the possibility that it could rot and collapse. Um, steel can rust, so, you know, steel's not perfect, but it is certainly much stronger and much more tolerant of the type of environment that can exist under an aquarium. It'll also give me a substantial amount of free space underneath the aquarium. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and move some of the equipment in. Uh, again, I've got the uh, welding equipment on a, uh, a stand that I built that's on wheels. I'm going to wheel that in. And then I've got a very large extension cord that's specifically for welding that I'll use to bring the power to the welding unit. All right, so here is the extension cord. This is a three wire, eight gauge extension cord. It's one of the biggest extension cords I've ever seen in my life. And um, for those of you that know me well, you guessed it, I ordered this on Amazon. I actually ordered two of them. I ordered them several years ago and it was so expensive that I went, ouch, that hurt my wallet um, when I bought these. But I wanted the flexibility to move my welding equipment anywhere around my shop. And that flexibility has paid off because now that I need to be able to reposition my welding rig inside this building that I'm working on, which will become my home, 
this extension cord is uh, really an essential piece of equipment. So I'm going to go plug this in and then I'm going to wheel the welding equipment in here. And I'm actually going to try and get it in here and position it behind where I'm welding. This is a fairly tight fit, but I think it'll make it. This is part of the reason the doors are not installed at this point. So I'm catching on one of those tie down straps. for the equipment that's down below. And for my viewers that have welding equipment, you understand why I built a cart. And for those that don't have welding equipment, this is probably 500 pounds worth of equipment. And while it does leave me a little out of breath, which just indicates that I'm not in really that great a shape, um, it, uh, it does make it possible for me to move around. Now, I don't think my extension cord is going to reach, so I'm probably going to have to go get my second extension cord. Yeah, this is a six, six gauge extension cord. So there's three pieces of six gauge wire in here. It's a pretty hefty extension cord. <clears throat> Yeah, okay, so we've got power to that. 